Hey everybody, today in the Lone Star Mopar shop we're continuing our stereo upgrade. We thought this would be a good chance to show everybody exactly how you go about removing the door panel on your 2008 Elk Dodge Challenger. This particular model is a 2010. Should be relatively the same for uh, not only the Challenger but the majority of all the other uh, Chrysler product vehicles out there. We'll begin what you're going to need. Uh, you don't have to go this route. I recommend it. Just a couple of uh, interior trim tools. Uh, that way you don't risk marring up the finish of the plastic like you would if you were to use, say, a, a screwdriver the whole time. That said, unless you have a wide assortment of pry tools, you'll just need a really small flathead to pry a cover loose. And then you're going to need, of course, a number two Phillips. Uh, what you're going to need to do, and here's our driver's side door panel, of course. On this uh, door jam side towards the quarter panel, you've got one, two, three, four four of these little plastic push pins. Now the way this is going to work is you're simply going to come in and uh, a lot of people use a screwdriver here but what you want to do is just push in. You kind of heard that audibly click. You can tell it's recessed compared to this one now and then you'll simply come in with your plastic tool, trim panel tool and like I said plastic on plastic you're not going to tear it up like you would if you're using a flathead. Pry that up, pull it out and uh, you'll repeat that again for four on this door jam side. Then you have the exact same setup over here towards the front fender, but you only have three of them. You've got one at the top, one roughly in the middle, and then another down at the bottom here. Uh, that's basically it for the push pins. What you will then find is that you've got three Phillips screws down here on the bottom. You can see one there. Uh, number two is kind of here right below the uh, door handle and then number three is over here right below your uh, six by nine speaker opening That point in time you're basically good to go You just lack two screws if you know right here behind the door handle you have a cover you want to pry it down uh, You'll have access to another number two screw and then same thing here behind the door pull You can come into that top crevice and actually pry this out uh, do both of those from the top up, you know, basically pry from the top is what I'm saying. Uh, you can break them off and then reinstall them, but actually they'll stay hinged with the plastic if you come in from the top. Once you do that, you know, don't just, you're going to have several clips on the inside you can pull loose. Uh, keep in mind you do have your lock knob here. Well, what you'll want to do, there'll be two harnesses to disconnect, basically, you know, your lighting and then another one and uh, real easy to find them. They're kind of a pain to get out, particularly in the close quarters, but the last thing you'll do is you'll actually have to pull the lock rod handle. Uh, that's real simple once you've done it a few times. All right, so once you've gone around with your pry tools, you can use a screwdriver. If you do, uh, be very careful, and of course, you might want to run some uh, painter's tape around the edges, kind of soften it so you don't, you know, gouge the plastic. But when you, uh, basically well, the way this plastic rivet set works is, of course, you come in, it's flush. We uh, first push it in, and that allows us to come in on the back side of our pry tool and actually uh, pry it out. When you do that, this is basically what you're left with. You know, you may think, oh no, it looks like I ruined it or something. That's not the case. All you've got to do whenever you reassemble it is uh, push this in place. You know, you'll seat. Uh, first thing that you'll wind up seating is uh, these lines right there that you see and then once you have that in place just push it again in the door panel it'll auto lock back in look like it was never touched uh, what I like to do after the uh, seven pins are out you know we've got four on uh, one side three on the uh, front fender side you'll actually come in this is uh, like I said this is really the only time I use the screwdriver just because it's such a pain to do with the pry tools that I've got. Uh, note you can kind of wiggle it to that first stopping point and then that's when <laughs> that's what we were trying to avoid doing but uh, as you can see once it's fully out you know that bottom piece this is the top end here like it'll sit so we can just slide that back in place. Uh, in the past I'd actually just hinged it but you know when a camera's in your hand you're not quite as you know capable as you usually are but in there is our first Phillips screw and again you know if you don't have a camera in your hand you'll probably not do what I did and it will just hinge but when you come over here 
Uh, same concept. You just come in. Uh, you almost have to have a screwdriver. The plastic is just too soft if you had the trim tools. And I'm trying really hard not to do what I just did with that other one. But, uh, there you go. That's what I planned to have happen on the last one. As we get a little better light, you can kind of see. Uh, bear in mind, this is much easier when you have two hands, but you can see that Phillips head in there. So you will pull these two. I actually like to do them last, especially this one's what I do last. But I'll come in, we've got the three screws on the bottom. You know, the first one is just to the side of your marker. The second one's in line with the door handle. Third is below the speaker. Get those three Phillips screws out. Come in and take the uh, one behind your uh, door pull. You know, the handle. And then you'll come in here and get the one behind the pull. So, that's essentially all there is to it. And at that point in time, you'll have the panel able to be... Basically, I get my hands up, you know, under a loose point. Kind of like right here. Start popping the clips. And when you do that, you can just kind of work your way around the panel, pop them all free, and then you've got the two harnesses and, of course, your uh, striker rod. And there you have it, a uh, total pain in the ass if you're by yourself for what it's worth. But uh, what you run into, of course, you know, you've got the uh, connectors here, your power windows, power locks, everything like that. Driver side's a little bit more intricate than the passenger, of course. Uh, biggest pain for me personally is the simple harness that you see right here of course this being the door side of it uh, real simple you know you just have to push in this clip here however when you have one hand that's not your dominant hand and the other one has a door panel resting on your shoulder uh, that is quite the problem but uh, if you got a buddy with you it's a cakewalk uh, with the door structure off you can see one you know one two three four are going to be your plastic pins this is screw one two three at the bottom then you've got one two and three for your pins on the side this is going to be of course your uh you know the actual door handle and then your door pull will be here this is the lock rod that you have to disconnect all it is is you just lift up and push this back it's real simple that's actually uh <laughs> believe it or not the easiest part uh, there's the factory 6x9 grate you can see in the door. Here's the 134 speaker, which is pathetic. Uh, it's coming out of there. All you have to do, you know, since we're going to use the uh, modified housings, keep our factory stuff in, intact, is pull, you know, two screws here, one here, and then the other down towards the bottom, and it just comes out. Disconnect it. That's much easier to work with than the actual door panel, but... Uh, there you go. I think in this case, pictures and arrows might actually work better than a video, but nonetheless, we've got it archived. Questions, comments, feel free to ask here on YouTube. Uh, you can also sign up on Lone Star Mopars. It's absolutely free. It's www.lonestarmopars.com.